Originally, the Reedy race was Mike Reedy's birthday. He wanted to put on a showcase with all the best drivers, you know, from all around the world. Um, more of a more of a show of racing. You get the best drivers in the world, have them race head to head, and uh, you know, put on a great show for the spectators. Yeah, with the grid start, it makes it a lot easier for the spectators to follow. Uh, they understand uh, general racing. You know, we have a clock, you have a time limit, you race until the tone and you finish in the position that you earn. You know, it's, it's like any other motorsports event. It's, it's really pretty spectacular. Um, everyone's around the whole track. You know, there's people around every edge of the track and uh, I think it's awesome. It feels good on the driver's sand when people are clapping and cheering and you see people everywhere. The atmosphere of this race is really cool. Everyone's laughing, everyone's talking to each other, everyone's having fun. Everyone's crowding around the track during the races. The racing is really awesome. So Towards the end, it starts to get a little bit more tense and stressful. Um, but then once the race is over, it's all fine again. This is definitely the race I look forward to the most every year. Everything about this event is top notch and I think pretty far above and beyond any of the other races that we do. Now to be able to actually be a part of the event and you know, carry on Mike's legacy is, it's an honor. When I started racing RC, the Reedy race was one of the biggest, most important races that I can remember. It's obviously grown a lot since then. It used to be 20 drivers. Now it's grown to 30. You know, the quality of the drivers is better. It's turned into a, something a lot bigger than probably anybody ever expected it to be. It's pretty special because not that many people have won it. You know, many people have won it multiple times, so it's not like there's, you know, 20 different names. It's, you know, the, the best of the best have won the race, and I was, fortunate enough to win it once myself. Yeah, the first time I won the Reedy race, I would say was one of my defining wins. I mean, I would definitely have to say 2011 Reedy race win uh, definitely jump-started my career. Uh, led me down a path where I was able to able to do this for a job and gave me a lot of confidence. It's just an amazing feeling. I think it's like a world championship title, like almost more difficult to win. To win it three times is amazing for me. It's a very big accomplishment, and uh, I'm very proud of it. I think it stacks up really close to a, a world title. You know, I've came here many times and haven't been able to win, so it's definitely a goal of mine to win for sure. Um, to run with the Invitational drivers, you have to be smart and you have to be patient with those guys and you can't, doesn't, just because you're the fastest guy out there doesn't mean you're going to be on top every time. It's not just being the fastest, it's about being the smartest and racing with everybody cleanly and just getting to the front um, and there's a lot of luck involved too. So it would definitely be a huge, huge win for anybody. I didn't drive the way I knew how to drive um, and it was tough, it was tough to lose that way, uh, especially after kind of having a pretty decent lead going into the last round. It would mean a lot, like there's not that many people that won, um, and it's extremely hard to win, so it's, it would mean a lot to win. And it would mean, it would mean the world to win um, in Mike's name and uh, win for my new companies, uh, even though I really wanted to do it for Reedy and it, you know, it just didn't happen. Um, but if it happens with these other companies, I know the Reedy guys will still you know, thank me and, and we're all friends, and, and uh, if I could win, it'd be, it'd be good to, to thank Mike in that way.